Now that I've finished telling you about the corn planting and harvesting, I'd like to talk about the most staple food of our country. The great, very much enjoyed, prepared in many different ways to please the hungry family and also the public. The veritable potato. As I remember, not a day went by that we didn't have potatoes in some form or another at at least one meal every day. My mother made the most delicious potato pancakes I've ever eaten. For them, we had to grate the raw potato by hand. Many a scraped knuckle I had doing this. A scraped knuckle. Badly scraped knuckle. We usually sprinkled sugar, put homemade applesauce on them, or sour cream. My mother even baked a type of potato cake, which I can't begin to remember how it was made. It was not a sweet cake. It was um, eaten with the meal like a vegetable would be. During Lent, we ate baked potatoes just about every day baked potatoes. At that time, when I was growing up, we observed Lent very strictly, especially during Holy Week, the week before Easter. Lent was a time of fasting when meat was very sparsely and scarcely eaten. During Holy Week, it was either fish of some kind or herring, which, as you know, is a fish too. My dad bought the salted herring from a wooden barrel when he went to the city for shopping. The herring had to be cleaned, scraped, cut up, and soaked in clear water. It was so salty. Sometimes they were pickled. We always ate them with baked potatoes, not mashed or any other kind. All the farmers planted large fields of potatoes as they were a staple food for everyone. Every spring, after the fields were cleared of stones, fertilized, and plowed, furrows from one end to the other had to be made into which the seed potatoes were dropped, perhaps six or eight inches apart. At least I remember it that way. Then these furrows had to be covered with the dirt from the sides. Sometimes some of the farmers bought seed potatoes, but usually if the farmer liked his own crop of the year before, he would cut a potato into parts uh, where the potato eyes were and plant these pieces. The more eyes the potato had and the stronger the eyes were, the better the plant would be. My dad, as well as the other farmers, made fairly shallow furrows with a horse-drawn plow. It is really surprising how straight the furrows were. Uh, The older children usually covered the potatoes in these furrows by pushing the dirt on them with hose. H-O-E-S, not H-O-S-E. As the plants grew, they were hilled again by pushing more dirt against them to give the potatoes enough dirt in which to develop, spread, and grow. Many times, even before harvesting, when we needed potatoes for a meal, we would go out and with our hands feel around the roots and pull out the ones we thought were big enough to eat. You see, even if the potatoes were large enough to eat, they had to remain in the ground until at least the middle or end of September to sort of season themselves. If harvested too early, they might rot in the basement. Also, the tops had to be completely dry before the potatoes could be harvested. 
We used hose to dig up the potato hills, being careful not to split the potato while digging. However, we did split many, which we fed to the animals by mixing them with grain. When my dad learned how, he plowed the row instead of digging with a hoe, and we picked up the potatoes, which were then exposed. The boys had many a potato fight in the fields and were soundly scolded. There were potatoes all over wherever they happened to land. It was a good idea to let the potatoes dry before bagging them and carrying them into the basement where they were spread out in a bin to dry some more. They were stirred or turned several times to make sure they weren't rotting because one rotten one would infect all the others around it. While the plants were still growing and blooming, they had to be sprayed to kill the potato bug, which always infested the plants. I don't know where they came from, but they always showed up and were a nuisance. Even if you planted a few potato hills in your backyard where you never had potatoes be growing before, you would find that potato bugs would somehow find themselves there and you'd have to pick them. They make me think of the um, Japanese beetle that you have to uh, shake off the rows of flour uh, into a can of soap suds or something to kill them.